Drug penetration has to do with the ability of certain antibiotics to enter into privileged sites where infections can be particularly uh, serious. And the central nervous system is the most important one. So the ability of an antibiotic to cross the meninges and enter into the central nervous system and into the CSF is a very important characteristic. So that's probably the most important one you should think about. There are other antibiotics that, believe it or not, although they can circulate through the lungs, don't actually do a good job in getting into the lung parenchyma itself and controlling infections. The aminoglycosides are one of them, and daptomycin is another one. The other less and, and probably a little bit more specialized is that the prostate is an organ that's very non-vascular, and so the ability to penetrate into the prostate is, is uh, limited for some antibiotics. The bone is another place for osteomyelitis. And then a very unique privileged site is the eye itself, where drugs will not penetrate very easily. That's very kind of specialized, I think, for purposes of of your level, the CSF and, and probably the lungs are the ones you really need to pay attention to. When you're confronted with a patient and a syndrome, you're going to choose a set of antibiotics that are going to cover things very broadly, and that's going to be the empiric approach that you're going to take. Hopefully you'll have gotten all the appropriate cultures so that within a day or so, and hopefully in the future even quicker, you'll be able to know which pathogen you're dealing with, in which case then you can narrow the antibiotics and minimize the complications that come from using very broad antibiotic treatment. The general principle is it's easy to start antibiotics. It's often very hard to get people to stop them <laughs> or to narrow them, but that's the goal. So the second issue is how urgent, you know, how severe and, and acute is the patient and how urgent are the antibiotics. If it's meningitis, you need to have it within an hour. If it's somebody with an osteomyelitis um, that's been walking around for a couple of weeks, obviously the urgency is, is very different in terms of the need of when to start antibiotics as well as to know how broad you need to be. And then finally, and this is where the antibiotics stuff gets very tedious, that we have so many choices. A lot of it has to do with the pharmacokinetics. That is, how high does the drug level get in, and is it an antibiotic that is very much dependent on that, on that drug level, and how sensitive is the organism. Obviously, if you can give an antibiotic once a day, that's a whole lot better than having to give it every four hours. Similarly, for oral antibiotics, that's true as well. So the, the pharmacokinetics have an important role to play in the antibiotic choices.